This presentation describes a nuclear reactor Syria was building secretly, its destruction, and Syria's subsequent efforts to cover up evidence of the reactor project. The reactor was built in a remote area of eastern Syria near the Euphrates River. The nearest town is called Al-Kibar. We have detailed information showing that the Al-Kibar facility was a nuclear reactor. A three-dimensional computer model of the facility has been created using features and dimensions from photographs of the facility. This diagram shows key features of a gas-cooled graphite-moderated reactor, the type built at Al-Kibar. We have photographs showing some of these important reactor components under construction, including vertical tubes in the top of the reactor for control rods and for refueling, a reinforced concrete steel-lined reactor vessel, and a water supply system that uses heat exchangers to remove heat from the carbon dioxide coolant. The main feature of the reactor hall, shown here in the center of the building, was the top of the reactor vessel. The pattern of holes on the floor were the ends of vertical tubes used for control rods and refueling of the core, a key feature of gas-cooled reactors. We judge other features of the building, such as heavily shielded, reinforced concrete rooms for heat exchangers, and a spent fuel holding pool, also are consistent with typical gas-cooled reactors. This photograph shows the top of the reactor vessel in the reactor hall, before concrete was poured around the vertical control rod and refueling tubes. Note the similar arrangement of vertical tube openings in the top of the Syrian reactor on the left and North Korea's Yongbyon plutonium production reactor on the right. We assess the Syrian reactor was similar in size and capacity to this North Korean reactor. Only North Korea has built such gas-cooled graphite-moderated reactors in the past 35 years. This photograph shows the steel liner for the reinforced concrete reactor vessel before it was installed. The network of small pipes on the outside of the liner is for cooling water to protect the concrete against the reactor's intense heat and radiation. The animated model shows how this component was positioned in the reactor vessel. This photograph and view of the computer model shows the concrete reactor vessel under construction. The photograph shows the steel liner in place within the vessel. Satellite imagery, together with ground photographs of the facility under construction, showed features of the cooling water supply system. A key feature was pipes running up a canyon to supply water from the Euphrates River to an underground storage tank at the reactor site. The site lacked key features of alternative facilities, such as fuel storage and turbines for an oil-fired power plant, or pipes from the site for irrigation or water treatment. The water would have been pumped from the tank through heat exchangers in the reactor building, and the hot water would have returned to the river by a separate pipeline. When the pipeline and pump house were externally completed in early August 2007, no further observable construction was necessary before the reactor could begin operations. We assessed that the reactor could have been complete and that startup operations could have begun at any time, although additional weeks to months of testing were likely.